Hello, I'm Salem Mayor Chuck Bennett, and thanks for watching this week. Well, since Salem is now in phase two of Oregon's reopening plan, it requires the use of face coverings indoors. So to help our area nonprofit and service organizations providing in-person services, we are continuing the cloth mask project. The generous donation of your time and skill in making the cloth, cloth face coverings will help these groups continue providing important services for residents in need. We're grateful for all those who have helped to date, but if you haven't yet made cloth masks for the project and would like to, just refer to the end of the video for details. Today I'm pleased to have an update for you about our Salem Library. We have the project engineer in charge of the seismic renovation to the library building and he's going to get us up to speed on the progress uh, of the project. And we also have the city librarian today to give us an update on current and future services. Well, I'm really glad, uh, Aaron, uh, you could join me and talk a little about what's going on with the library project. Uh, because of the pandemic, I think there's been a lot of interest in is it on schedule? How are things going over there? So could you give us just a quick update on what's happening over there? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Uh, the great news is uh, the COVID-19 hasn't really had a huge impact on the progress of, our, of, of the project great. to date. Uh, we're still early in the project. We started in early April. Um, we, we've completed a significant amount of the demo and uh, now the contractor is moving on to uh, pouring foundations and getting the shear walls uh, constructed, which is uh, the main um, <clears throat> improvement that's gonna allow for the seismic uh, improvement. Right, this is no cosmetic fix up of the library, is it? Well, yes and no. Okay. With, this, with this improvement, um, the seismic work that we're doing, we're actually taking advantage of the opportunity while the, <clears throat> while the building is pretty much in complete complete demo state, we're able to revitalize the interior with new paint, new carpet, new windows. Right. Uh, we're um, reformatting uh, how the library uh, uh, is, is laid out on the interior. Uh, and so it's going to be a significant improvement on the, in, on the inside when we're It's going to look different when it's gonna we come look back different. in. It's going to look different and it's going to look uh, really great. I think people are going to be really happy uh, when, they, when they walk in. When are you going to be done? Uh, right now, the schedule is uh, for us to be completed um, and moving back into the main library in June. So uh, hopefully we can have- Next year. June 2021, yes. And then um, hopefully have people walking in in early July. Excellent. Well, Aaron, thank you very much. Good luck on the project. We'll have you back to keep us updated. Great. So thank you. Thanks. Thanks. You bet. Well, Sarah, as our librarian, you've had a pretty exciting time over the past, uh, really, <laughs> couple of years. Yeah. But, but this past about five months has really, four or five months, has yeah. really changed yeah. the way you've done business as a librarian, uh, particularly with uh, uh, online services. And what what are you doing these days? What <laughs> all's going on over there? And when will you reopen as a library? Okay. So, um, yeah, about a month after we moved into our temporary location uh, to do the construction project, we had to shut our doors for public safety and health. Um, and so we immediately transitioned into doing everything that we could online, doing uh, lots of virtual services, virtual programs, um, haiku programs, uh, all sorts of different- Kids programs? Kids programs. We have story times online. Um, wow. And a number of publishers actually gave the rights to their books to be read online so we could do Fantastic. that. So that was really awesome. Um, so we've been doing just all sorts of different programs. Uh, some of the most popular ones that we've had right now are, uh, we had an em emoji book title challenge um, oh, and a, um, book titles uh so you couldn't see the title of the book just the cover and you had to guess or what? it's still going on actually you can do it right now Where you read the book and guess the title yeah you you look at the cover without the title on it and guess what the title is so oh, yeah we've had all sorts of programs like that we've also had more interactive uh live programming our teen services librarian has done a book club that she calls quarantines um and so she's getting that's some, clever yeah she's getting some <laughs> great uh participation in that but we've had you know all sorts of different zoom things and we're planning on doing even more as we keep going um, we have some zoom book talks for adults that we're um, going to be doing uh, 
talking about the the sensitive topic, the hard topic of racism, and Great. and having when's that going to start? Do you think? I think a lot of I know. Yeah. I think it's I know. Yeah. A lot of us are very concerned about that issue and yeah. learning more, exploring ourselves more. Yeah. It's a big so part of it. I'm hopeful we'll be able to start in July with very those. good. Um, so that'll be on, announced. Yeah, we're working on creating the list of things. It's not going to be just read one book and talk about that topic, but have a whole list of different wow. um, materials that you can engage with and then have some thoughtfully um, facilitated conversations Great. about well, that. Well, thank you for doing that. <laughs> yeah. I, it's very topical. But yeah. when, when <laughs> do I get to come in and browse the stacks, yeah. bring back my books and hand them to them, ask one of your staff a question. When, yeah. all, when, does, when do we get back to that? So you can ask our staff a question <laughs> via phone, email, or uh, online Excellent. chat Excellent. right now. Excellent. Um, but uh, we have curbside, so you can get a book. Okay. Um, contactless curbside. You can put something on hold. Either call us, you can do it yourself um, on um, the catalog, the online catalog. Um, and once your your title is pulled, and we're pulling something like five to six hundred books a day. Wow. Yeah. Um, we can then uh, contact you, let you know it's time to set up an appointment. You can set up an appointment, and you can come pick up your book from a table outside. It'll already be checked out for you and ready to go. You are so diplomatic on this, <laughs> but I'm going to press it home. Oh, I, yeah. That's my job here. Yeah. When do we get <laughs> to come back? Do you have yeah. any feel yet? So um, yes. We, we do have a feel. We're working really diligently on plans for that right now. Um, as a part of the curbside, you can return your books right. um, too. Uh, we're trying to do that very carefully because we don't want what we're, what we're calling the book avalanche right. to happen. So metered returns. But So if you're picking up a hold, you can bring your book back already with that. Okay. Uh, but, but I can't come inside yet. But you can't come inside yet. We are... Uh, we are currently working to get the facility ready for that. Oh, so, great. Okay. you know, we had ordered a, a number of plexiglass things. Um, we've had to completely rearrange the space that we just set up. <laughs> um, oh, so we're really working on that because we want to make sure that we're keeping safety at the forefront of the patron right. experience and that we're keeping everybody safe when they're in the library. We're quarantining materials for three days. We're really trying to make sure that That's... we keep that stuff um, very, very safe. That's just excellent. Yeah. And I want to tell you, just in behalf of the community, how much we appreciate the library, its staff, and your yeah. entire facility, uh, and keeping it available to us through what has been a really trying time. Thank you very much. It has been. And if I might say, we've got summer reading now. Ah, so, oh, you sure do. Yeah, so um, everybody should uh, go. That's one of our other virtual programs that's going to go on through the summer. It prevents summer slide, which right. is a particularly important, I think, right now um, when yep. we're in the situation that we're in. So, um, it, And we're doing all online signups. We've already had over 2,000 people sign up online. So we are hopeful that more people will sign up and take part in summer reading. Well, great. Yeah. Well, again, Sarah, yeah. thank you very much. And we'll do this again before it's all over. Great. Before you reopen. We'll yeah. Try. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.